hi guys welcome to my channel glad to have you here today uh, so i'm excited to share with you this simple diy uh, where i transformed this mirror into something glamorous i used mainly tape gems and foam board to make these wall pieces and i'll link all the material in the description box below so let's get started So I went to Walmart and bought four of these mirrors. I bought them at six dollars. Um, they were already in gold, so I was really happy about that. Uh, but if you find them in any other color, you can just spray paint. The first step was for me to cover up this mirror with uh, paper because I don't want to put glue on it or damage it. I'll also be cutting some foam board that I got from Walmart. It's a little bit stronger than the one in Dollar Tree. Basically, this foam board is to give me another frame onto the mirror. Uh, so I measured 1.5 inches and then the dimensions will be the same as the ones for the mirror. Since this foam board is not as long as the mirror, I'll just be joining the different pieces together. Uh, so I covered the top with this uh, golden tape and then the back will be with the black uh, scotch tape. Uh, this tape is also from Walmart. I've been using it in so many projects of mine recently. Uh, well, I'm um, an expecting mom, so I'm trying to really run away from spray paint as much as I can. So if you can't find that tape and you really want it in gold, you can just use the spray paint. So I'll be using E6000 and hot glue to um, attach the foam board onto the mirror. I'm really happy you're all here to watch my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell so that you're updated every time I have a new upload. Thank you guys. So just take your time and hold on to this piece before you let go so the glue can really dry and hold on to the foam board. So unfortunately I ran out of tape uh, and I couldn't go to the store right then and then uh, but I'll finish up the remaining piece as you can see. Uh, so the next step was to add the gems. I'll be using these gems. I've always had them and used them before. I picked them from Party City and I'll just be gluing them using hot glue. So I applied these gems all around uh, the foam board frame. As you can see, they are really, really gorgeous. And I just used just the hot glue. And this is the next day after I finished adding uh, the entire piece. And this is how the gems really look like on the mirror. For extra support in the back, I'll be using these sticks that I bonded using hot glue. To hang this mirror, I'm going to be using this two-sided tape. It's for heavy duty, so it really holds and I really love using it for heavy things but these mirrors are not even really heavy so that's what I use. Back to the front of this mirror I'm going to be using this tape, uh, this craft tape from Michaels and I'm just going to be putting it along the original frame uh, of the mirror. So this is how the mirror really looks like right now with all that small detail of just the tape. Uh, it's really really coming out so beautifully. For the inside of this mirror I'm going to be using a different type of a craft tape but it's also really small um, so I'm just going to be following the frame of the mirror. I took my time with it um, and I didn't really hold the tape down until when I was sure of the line that I was making. Um, it may not be perfect but at least it's a little bit close to um, a straight line. And this is the other tape that I'll also be using to get the second line inside. 
altogether i made four of these lines inside and this is how they look like really beautiful uh gorgeous uh, i can't believe this is really the mirror that i got before it just looks so much better And that was it for this modification it was really really much better than how it looked before and you can't believe it's just with tape and a few gems and this is the outcome it just looks so beautiful the lines just make it look so classy For this second DIY, I'm going to just be using all the three remaining mirrors and I'm going to make panel wall decor pieces uh, with just using tape. All this tape was picked from Michael's, so I'll be starting with this craft tape and I'll be making diagonals along the mirror. The trick is not to hold down this tape onto the mirror until when you're sure of the line that you're making. With this step, I made X uh, in the middle of the mirror. So this is how they package the tape. Uh, it comes with five different designs. The next step was for me to line up the smaller tapes along the big uh, tape, uh, just making sure it's a straight line. It was really an approximate, so you might not be perfect at it. Um, but I just tried to make them as straight as I could. I used two different designs of the tapes um, inside every triangle that I had. I did not bother to measure the spaces in between the lines. Um, I just approximated it and tried to really be as accurate as I could. And this is how the mirror is looking like with all the lines in place uh, so some of the tape was overlapping so I just basically use these small scissors to uh, make sharp points and just make it a little bit more neat so in this process of cutting off all the excess uh, tape that was overlapping I use the chopstick to help me um, lift up all this tape that was already glued onto the mirror and just placing it back after cutting the rest so i repeated this design for um all the three pieces uh, so and then i'll also be hanging them using the two-sided tape I really love this transformation this was really easy to make and these panels really came out so nice and glamorous they really modified my room i just love that it was so simple to make with just tape i hope you guys really love these pieces just as i did um this transformation was really easy uh, please don't forget to give me a like uh, share this video and as well as subscribe to my channel um, I have other videos that you can check out in the description box below. Thank you guys so so much for your support and for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye!